Welcome back to the channel guys. Right, this is a, a very early morning. I think I've been, I think I was the first person here. Um, it is eight o'clock in the morning. We're at Ripon Classic Car Shop and everyone's just about turning up now. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a good show. Um, I'm dying for a coffee. So I'm just waiting for the coffee guy to come. Oh. Finally found a coffee machine, Mr. Coffee. You might catch him at a classic car show near you, so check him out. I'm just about to check his coffee out, which is just here. At last, cheers. Well, there's plenty of people turning up now. It is now half past nine in the morning. Quite a few cars here at the Ripon Classic Car Show. So. Right, guys. I used to have one of these cars and mine was British Racing Green. I don't think I'm going to see another one of these. Toyota Celica 1.6 ST. I was talking to the, uh, the owner and he's the second owner. Look at that. Mint. Lovely car. Beautiful colour, it's like a turquoise yes, colour. Original colour, right in turquoise. Very nice car. They handled better than the Capris. Sorry, guys, you Capri owners, but this is the car for me here. Absolutely fantastic. In awesome condition. Because these were rock boxes back in the day. That's why there isn't many left on the road. And it's the only one here. He was flying, wasn't he? Look at this one, guys. Did you see him around that round <laughs> The old Vauxhall. I like this is cool. Just all original. Look at the state of the rubbers. Green, looking like it's just about to drop out. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's just got it out the barn from being in there for about 50 years. Yeah, that's really cool. Right guys, we have a TR6 here. Now I was toying with buying one of these. Um, but the one I was looking at had gone. Very nice. Never really sat in one of them. I don't know there was enough room for me as well. It's me, I'm quite tall. I'm six foot three. Um, the Triumph Stag, I was surprised I fit in that. Because um, when I used to work in a garage years ago, which was many moons ago, um, I remember putting a Triumph Spitfire on the ramp and I couldn't fit in it. But well, that's uh, very, very nice. Triumph TR6. Right, guy, this is a 1964 Corbett Stingray. The guy's just gonna start it up so you can listen to this thing. Guys, we're venturing into the Triumph Stag Club. I'm just wondering what colour do they look best in? Just put your comments down below. Tell me what you think. I quite like the yellow one. And I'm just going to go around the mall. You tell me. Which colour will look best in that thing, personally? Um, the old English white looks good. Here we go, there's a white one here. 
here. They look good in white. I'm not keen on those wheels. There's a sapphire blue one, I think it is. <clears throat> There's another blue one. So yeah, just put your comments below guys, which one, which stag is the best colour. I think that's a brown, it looks black. Is it black? It's, yes, it is. It's a metallic paint that one, it looks. It's hard to say what the colour it is, maybe I'm going colour blind. Do you? you need to take the tow bar off the back. There's another one with a tow bar on it. I suppose if anyone's going to back into you, then you're going to protect your bumper bar. But it's just personal preference, isn't it, really? Quite like that faded yellow. That's pretty original, which is cool. Oh my god, the camera flipped! Check this Ford Capri out. Oh my god, the camera's quick. You've got it in your hand now, quickly, oh, won't it? Oh. Yeah. That's a 1973. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Looks like it's French racing blue. I do know because I've had exactly the same colour car. I had a Jaguar XKRS in this colour. Well, the weather's come out now, guys. Beautiful day. The veg run. So we're at Ripon race course, classic car show and the sun's come out and it's, it's a nice stunning E-Type V12 <clears throat> So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around for you guys to have a quick look and I'm going to have a pick out which car I think should win. Well, everyone's got their different opinions. Um, so I'm going to give you my opinion on the best car here. That's a look at that. That's well sorted. As you can see, this one's caught my eye. You can see why. Very nice. Little spare set of spark plugs there as well. MG's here. Hi. Got the TR6, that's well sorted. <laughs> so put in the comments below, guys, which classic car I should get next. I'm not keeping the stag that long. I'm going to be moving her on quite shortly. But I fancy another one. But yeah, put down what you think I should get next. RS2000, we could have had one of them. Yeah, 
Same young clothes, that's exactly the same one as well. Same colour. Why are all these mammoths worth it? It's like you've not seen any kind of one. RS2000, is it on a display? Is that 78? 78, yeah. Yeah. 1978. Exposed. I wouldn't do that. I'd cover that. All you need to do is get a stone in there and chip it out with my teeth and boom. Yeah. Outside. There you go. Don't bust through. And it's goodbye engine if the cam belt jumps. Lotus. So I'm going to go through these quite quick. Well, that's well sorted motor. P5. 3.5 litre engine, look at that. Very nice. That's a labour of love of that in there. <laughs> See how they're just rested on there like that. They're letting rests for the, the windscreen wipers. Lovely colour, goes with a white. It's like a burgundy. It's metallic as well. That's a custom paint job. Very nice. That's a possibility. That's cool. Right, we'll go on to the next one. Separate. Porsche Boxster. Let's see that bit of classic. Hermann Super Minx. MGB. Another Stag. Fiesta. It's well sorted, it looks quite nice in yellow. Cool. It looks well in yellow. It's well sorted, it's a gear. Well, they're all going for the rally look. Which that's what they were known for. Mini 1275 GT. Four webbers on it. Shift. There's the clocks on it. Yeah, that should shift that. Right. We got another one. These were good rally cars back in the day. Three minis together. It's well sorted that. There's a Corvette, you American guys, I from the UK. I don't know what that one is. Vauxhall Victor. Wow. Sedan. There's the Aston Martins. Owns both, best of both worlds. VAMG, they sound really nice. And then obviously that won't be. There's a Cobra, be a replica though. Just a paint job. Cool. Taking you quickly around the Ripon Classic Car Show and the weather, it's really warm here, guys. 
guys. I only arrived this morning at <coughs> quarter to eight. I was the first one here. <laughs> and it was absolutely pouring down. That's Mark two. Yeah, I mean, there is, I mean, like, say, it's not really loud, actually. Yeah. Um, it's not too bad. It's a lot of the You'd never find one, though, by the way, that many. You'd never find one like that. You find them like this, but they're all original. I saw it from over there, started drooling before I said to it. I saw it from over there, started drooling before I said to it. I saw it from over there, started drooling before I said to it. I saw it from over there, started drooling before I said to it. Very nice. Mexico. Whether it's an original one or not. I think it's an original. I know, I know what it's that. I know what Yes, they're really coming on these uh, escorts now. The prices have gone through the roof. There's another one with a cow, cow cover on. Seeing them jump a couple. Yeah. I'd rather do that. Cover it or lose it. I've seen a storm come through. And it jumps the Campbell. Then you're going to lose your cylinder head. So if you've got that exposed, guys, I'll cover it up. To so the next one. It's another black RS2000. It's got the sense to put a cam cover on it. Now lose his engine. condition. Prices on these cars have gone absolutely crazy. It's nice what he's doing with the exhaust manifolds. Right through and there's the MG 1000. Got a TR7 now they're becoming quite rare. See many of them. I have them in the scrapyard. Nice to see an unrestored Land Rover. Very cool. It's got a nice patina on that. It's another cool one. Just keep using it. Fantastic. It's nice to see an old Range Rover. They're so cool. Another cool looking. The P38 was just a bag of shit. <coughs> Too many electronics on it that used to go wrong. Sorry, I know guys, you don't like me saying that, but in my experience, the P38 is just a pile of shite. This one, however, the one before the P38, is cool. <laughs> so here we have in my opinion, the winning car. Look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. The colour is beautiful. Lovely colour. Very, very pretty car. Anyway, the guys.
guys about to open the, uh, the bonnet for me. That's the interior, guys. Well sorted. There's no rips in the seat. Door oh, shuts lovely. Look at this under here. Well sorted V12. Same name as the V12 band, guys. This is why. Very original. There's the winning car, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And she smells nice. V12. Well, guys, it's been a fantastic show at Ripon Classic Car Show. And the sun's come out. Um, so, yeah. See you guys shortly for another video. Remember, see it above it all. Do you think I